Yo, what's up, Uncle Seal with another ADV replay, and today we got SPL semifinals, Undisputed versus Austin. Let me check on my cheat sheet. We got Undisputed on the Ruiners and Austin on the Wolfpack, and the score as of now is Wolfpack 5, Ruiners 6, but I think this was the kickoff match. I think this was the first match of that series, but this is like way late, but I still don't know who won the semifinals yet, so I also have never seen this match before because, like, I don't know, I just I just don't like to see them before, I just like to have this raw narration. So, we see Suicune versus Salmon's lead, Salmon's is forced out into something like a grass type or something like that. Suicune lead kind of indicates that there is some fat boys in the back, probably a Blissey for sure, maybe Nice Bliss, Skarmcore, oof, spicy, spicy. So, we see a Starmie, so there's a spinner on Austin's side, that's always nice to see. So, this is basically a stalemate between two waters, I think they both switch. Celebi and a Blissey does get the revealed, okay, so that is, that is gonna be nasty. Celebi can just throw off a free leech cheat here, though, nothing to worry about. As that does happen, Ice Beam pops out onto the Celebi. So, I don't know what Undisputed wants to do here. Uh, if Celebi, so I think Celebi should just switch out into, like, a breaker or something. If he has a baton pass, he should click that. Skarmory gets revealed, yeah. Oh, Magneton? Ooh, oh my lord. Okay, that was actually fire. This man, Baton, passed in a Magneton. Uh, as Undisputed immediately sends in his own Magneton, so I assume this is HP Fire, yup. So, this Magneton will be able to go down, but Skarmory going down is actually huge for Austin. That was, yeah, that was a, that was a Flames play. Baton pass. I don't think, I like, I don't know about Skarm, hard Skarm, because if, like, if, yeah, I don't know. It was a, it was kind of an iffy play, TBH, but... Snorlax comes out here. I like. I'm using. I'm using. Like. I'm saying TBH. I sound like Patlop. But Snorlax comes out here. Now Magneton. Nice. <laughs> Magneton. Nice wall by the Snorlax. Uh, fat teams like this normally have problems with Snorlax if it's something like Curse. So we'll see what it has in the back. So we can just come out here too. So Curse gets revealed. That's gonna be an issue. The turn is gonna do some. Does gonna do some fair damage as Roar gets sent out. So. Celebi is back in, which is unlucky for Undisputed, because now he's forced out in the Blissey again. Leech Heat, <coughs> the same old shit. This is, oh, this is quality ADV content. Nice Blissey, <laughs> nice Blissey action. I hate these teams. Like, I love watching, like, some just, like, offense versus offense, but then oh, someone just always has to pull up with this, but it's okay. This is very interesting. It is sub baton by Celebi. So, why did he do that? I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess it's I guess it was a correct play because Roar was always coming out. Yeah, yeah, never mind. I was I was wondering why didn't he BP the sub, but he was gonna get roared anyway, so it didn't matter. So Sonics comes out here, T Wave Blissey, that is super disgusting. So Sonorix is paralyzed now, which means that I mean it just hindered like a paralyzed mon is a dead mon. Because like <laughs> Hax is gonna obviously come in here. So Curse is gonna get pulled out. Sonorix versus Snorlax. Undisputed Snorlax can definitely beat uh, Astas because of the para. He's gonna get some nice para hacks. He gets the outspeeds as well. Although obviously uh, Austin used a few curses, so Undisputed would have outsped anyway. But yeah, as this is Curse on Curse Snorlax action. Nice, oh, nice. Who gets the crit first action? That's what I like to see. I mean, assuming they're both rest. I mean, on the Undisputed side, it's, it's it's rest because it's a fat team. I I can't imagine it not being rest. So, leftover is nice, nice juice. So, he eats another one with this curse here. A ah, nice para. Ooh, that's what I like to see. Nice para hacks. <laughs> Undisputed gets another curse. So, can we see a crit? Oh, another para. That's what we can see. Mmm, spicy. So, body slam. Actually, doing a fair chunk here. Return, not killing in return. So, rest comes out from Undisputed, I assume. Or right, just another body slam. So, he doesn't have it? What? What's going on? So, that's. Okay, so he gets a roll, which sucks for Asta. But I guess he can just go around and revenge it. He goes Metagross. Oh, yeah, okay, now come. Why? Why? Okay. I. Okay, I, he must have calculated. and he must have seen that that was like an absolute max roll or something for him to go Body Slam again. I mean, I. Yeah, I don't know about that play, TBH. But. Lichy comes out again. So this Snorlax is a huge issue, but Sub Seed Celebi is a problem as well. Because he can just Sub Seed the Snorlax down. Snorlax has a huge hit point stat, so. Like the. Leechies are gonna heal a lot. So he goes into Suicune as another sub comes out. Unfortunately, the Celebi doesn't have Grass Stab. That would have made this a lot easier. Um, but these Leechies are getting stalled with, um, just with like, I mean, with the continuous use of Leechies on Blissey, Snorlax, and Suicune, they're definitely getting stalled up with a fatter team. Salamence comes out here. I mean, Salamence could be, uh, it could be a number of different sets, but it's definitely scared out by an Ice Beam potentially. But Undisputed doesn't really have a switch into Bandit Salamis now that his Skarmory is gone, so I wonder what he has. Maybe he has like some backup check in the in the back, because otherwise you kind of just lose the Magneton plus Salamence, right? So, I don't know. I mean, Suicune is kind of a backup check, I guess. 
because we can gonna eat it. If, if it's Ice Beam Suicune, Ice Beam Roar, then he doesn't need another counter to Salamence, I guess. So both teams are almost revealed. Um, from one speed is last. <laughs> I'm actually horrible at seeing last Pokemon. Uh, I know people who are like amazing at just uh, checking out what the last is. I would never know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm super terrible. Um, she don't see it really. But yeah, this is nice and waiting. I mean, also can just switch in Starmie or Celebi and undisputed. This is like the thing is, n there's no progress made. If like if the, it's just it's just gonna be Blissey on Celebi. It's just gonna be. Um, Suicune on this. So he goes Snorlax to get a bit more lefties. He tried to go, he tried to go Snorlax and get some Leech Seed and lefties power maneuver. So Celebi Snorlax. No progress actually gets made. It's just gonna be a bit of, <laughs> just gonna be, it's gonna be them duking it out. Metagross is a Pokemon who makes progress. Please don't paralyze. <sighs> <sighs> Ruiner is always lucky. So Magneton with that HP fire can trap Metagross here. Nice attack raise though. But this is gonna do a shitload. Or, um, I think, what, what am I saying? HP Fire? I think Thunderbolt is more. Um, <laughs> I know a few people got triggered there, but. Oh, Claydol's the last. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, it had to be a spinner. What the fuck? Yeah, see, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Yeah, it had to be a spinner because it's a fat team. So it had to be either Claydol or Donphan. But Donphan is no Pokemon, so. Sw hard Sweep it on the Celebi, Goat Maneuver. So as long as it gets sent out, gets another round of lefties. <laughs> this is. Yeah, I mean. It, nothing is happening. In it, like just it's just like fat boys duking it out. The thing is, I want to give like I want to give in depth commentary, but you guys can all see what's going on. It's the fat mon switches in on the mons it beats, and Asta's Celebi and Starmie also switch in on the mons they beat. Like, there's nothing like there's nothing really in depth you can go here. I mean, T Wave against two natural cure and two paralyzed mons, it's a solid maneuver, but Metagross is in finally. Uh, Metagross actually gets a free switch in on Blissey because of because uh, it's already paralyzed and everything. So what's it gonna do here? Toxic Metagross. Ooh, that's that's powerful. So Suicune's leftovers got slurped up. So that's basically a useless mon. That's super nice. Unless it's Rest Suicune, which uh, probably is. Looking <laughs> looking from the team, that uh, probably is. So I mean, un until it uses Rest, it's useless. Let's just hold it with that. But. Um, I don't want to have to resort to using bad jokes again. Let me see. Let me see how long this match takes. Okay. Oh, the match is almost over, dudes. It's oh, it's three more minutes. Okay, but how though? Like, who's gonna make progress? I'm. I don't see how anyone's gonna make progress here. Um. Oh, Curse Lax. Curse Lax can definitely make some progress here if uh, Asta doesn't get the boom off. So, I mean, yeah, the boom doesn't do shit. Meter match doesn't do shit. Yeah, Snorlax basically wins. <laughs> and never mind then. Yeah, there's nothing he can even do about this. Like, he can lead cheat it, and then, yeah, he's fishing for attack boost, doesn't get it, he misses. Yeah, this is over. There, like, he needs to get a crit. He's fishing for attack boost and crit at, crits at the moment, but, yeah, there's just no way he can break past the Snorlax. And, to be honest, Undisputed was kind of, like, haxing a bit with that para on the body slam, but, like, Metagross comes in on Blaze, so he would have gotten para anyway, and, like, it doesn't matter, Curse Lax won anyway. No crits, which sucks. He has two more chances unless he gets paralyzed or misses. So that's one. Nope. Hidden power comes out again. Okay, one more. One more, buddy. Get it. Come on. Boom. Crit. Alas. So yeah, I don't think he can. I don't think he has a shot because he can lead cheat and just die in one. So honestly, cheat. <laughs> nah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to all of Asta's Pokemon. Damn. Curse like showing why it's the most powerful Pokemon ever. I mean, Asta's team didn't have shit for Curse Lags. Um, I don't see what on his team beats Curse Lags, so yeah. I mean, I don't like the team. That's all I have to say about that. Um, as we see that Mr. Docker should disconnect. Solid work from Doc. So we miss a we miss a part of the game. That's what I like. Oh, he, he okay. Never mind. He pulled it back. That's quality quality by Doc. So Pump doing a solid damage. Body slam kills though. So yeah. So Lags comes in and. Um, Issa Lichi, right? Yeah. I mean, it still dies. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought I thought that Snorlax might outspeed because of all those curse drops. But Undisputed just smashed Asta with Curse Lax. There's nothing Asta could have done. And I think it's the fault of Asta's team, for sure. Um, so yeah, this was the kickoff game. So it was still 0-0. So Undisputed is one of the winners. It is 5-6 for the Runas right now. So the Runas can only tie. 
And it is, um, what is it? Fear versus Tiba for GSE. Uh huh, GSE. That is no tier. So yeah, we got some uns here to decide it all. And I don't, I don't even think Doc is gonna record it. Maybe Doc will just record over it. Like he actually has, like, like Doc doesn't know shit about GSE, but maybe he'll still record over it because it actually matters so much. And let me, let me actually, this actually doesn't matter at all. But let me look at, okay, let me pull this up real quick. Let me, let me pull this up. So this is Titans vs. Raiders. So, um, it is Zomak vs. Tsunami and Stax vs. Kaori. So, that's double OU. That's another untier, another one. And, um, Shake vs. Zomak is gonna be an entire meme. So, uh, that's some, <laughs> it's two untiers and a meme. So, that's gonna be high quality content. Um, so yeah, look forward to Zomak vs. Shake. And, uh, leave a juicy like, leave a sub, sub to my channel. I need money and love.